Uh, I describe myself as a critical designer, which is a, a unique form of designer, perhaps, which is uh, very close to artists. So I do a lot of sort of artistic works, go on exhibitions, um, and I spend my practice critiquing uh, technology, politics, social studies, science, uh, and kind of starting to challenge some of the narratives that uh, dominate the world today through exhibitable projects. That's a tricky question. I think that what inspires me most is uh, my own anxiety about the future of whatever. Um, I think I spend more time trying to deal with my own fears than looking for inspiration. So things like climate change or sort of the, the general hypocrisy of modern politics, uh, um, the kind of glowing, growing uh, uh, homogeny of uh, technological innovation, all those things scare me more than inspire me, but they're the things that keep me working. So. Um, most of all, just an understanding of a different place. I've been practicing in London for years, um, and I mostly work and travel around Western Europe for my practice. And to go to, to Helsinki, which has this vastly different history to uh, Britain and Western Europe, and see how uh, the institutions and structures and scenes work there was kind of really enlightening, um, and I found it very helpful. Um, I found the slowness of it really interesting. That there wasn't a need to show off or to, to make big statements or do big brash things. It was just a general status quo that advanced at a very kind of steady rate. Um, also just an appreciation for Finland. I really fell in love with it after kind of a few... The first week was very difficult, you know, I was on my own and it's sort of uh, not having the usual social dependencies and then finding that um, I was fine just working on my own, going out and meeting people, you know, setting up an entirely new network of friends and kind of colleagues was kind of a really interesting and invigorating experience, you know, just jumping into a completely new network. Uh, the Finnish have huge respect for the heroes of their design and architecture scene um, and it's really physicalized it's not just academic respect you know that the buildings that are there are modern classics and 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 sort of uh 20th 21st century uh 19th 20th century classics that have just been kept pristine and perfect and and in as close to their original form as possible um the the everything from the furniture to the interiors are done beautifully and everything is kept uh, in, in with that design tradition that finland has um, and I don't think there's anywhere near that kind of reverence in the British architecture and design scenes. Things are replaced so fast. The skyline of London changes every 10 years almost unimaginably quickly. It's more like a sort of crossover between a Chinese city and, and, and what London once was and really a kind of heritage city. Um, London is also constantly looking for the new things. You know, to compare London Design Week to Helsinki Design Week, it's all about... Uh, London Design Week is very much about the new up-and-coming guys who are going to sort of change things and shake things up, whereas like innovation and disruption are the cornerstone of this uh, this culture. Whereas Helsinki is very much looking at uh, the the craft of its of its creation and and the 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 thoroughness and the rigor that goes into it and the the um, respect and acknowledgement of history, which is its own limitation, but is also completely refreshing to see that there's kind of a reverence there and a respect. Uh, underwater in the great flood of London um, in 10 years time I don't know um, uh, I'd like to go back to Finland again so I definitely want to have, have ticked that off I made a lot of good connections out there that I'd like to follow up and perhaps do collaborative projects with um, pretty much doing the same thing I'm doing now perhaps a little more focused you know um, that's a really impossible question to answer it's hard in fact I just wrote the uh, blog post saying how hard it was doing a residency for a month like, as a designer and artist working in London, planning a month is just impossible. Like, I, I live week to week. I couldn't tell you where I'd be in 10 years.